going on you guys today we're gonna be working on the 240 we just got the wrap in on friday i think we should have everything we need all the materials and everything i got my buddy coming over jake he's gonna be helping me out he's wrapped his e46 zhp he's gonna be helping us out today let's get into it as of right now i think we should have everything we need to wrap the car we have a bunch of sandpaper, exacto knives, and some squeegees, bondo spreaders, bondo primer for if we go down to the bare metal, black gloss just for all the trim pieces and everything, uh, Ajax bleach just for my bumpers, and I'll tell you more about that later, and isopropyl, knife tape, etc. So I think we've got everything we need. We got our pump sander. We got some 220 grit of some 120 grit. I heard that these Diablo sand neck, they're 220 grit, but they're like, you can see, they're like see-through. I heard that these are supposed to last like, supposedly 10 times longer so we'll see about that got some of those and then we also got a clay kit so that's just for clay bar in the car before we start any wrap Fender, we're gonna start out with the Diablo Sand Net 220. Hit the whole fender, follow it up with a thousand grit, and then we'll clay bar it, wipe it with isopropyl, just to try to get the wrap to adhere to it the best we can. Jacob's doing the same on this front fender. He's just hitting it with the 220 and then uh, staging it out, higher grit, and cleaning it off before you lay down the wrap. For this door, it had a couple layers of paint on it. The top surface was pretty thick spray paint, so we had to bump down to like a 120 grit and then follow it up with 220 and then a thousand. Here I wiped the whole fender down with isopropyl alcohol and clay barred it to try to get any dirt or surface contaminant off before we laid the wrap down. Otherwise any of those imperfections are going to show right through your wrap. last time we were wrapping this front fender it got really cold so we decided to wait till today now it's a way better day we got the car in the garage with the propane heater we got jake here putting on the center cap that looks way better dude that just like adds so much to it if you look at the rear one we're also working on the rear quarter panel the plan here is to run um, some of the wrap up vertically here and then all the way back because the over fender doesn't quite cover the whole panel so you'll be able to see like right here you you'll see gray underneath jacob said if you look really close you can see a little bit of a dent so we're gonna have to take that out <laughs> it's just it's a little bit noticeable but i think it was probably just spreading dirt and gunk everywhere yeah. <laughs>
As you guys saw in the video, we started sanding down the S13 in preparation for wrap. We got both of the fenders sanded and we got both the doors sanded down. Over the winter, I'm gonna be slowly working on the 240 as I can, as I find time. Here in Washington, it gets pretty cold in the winter and I don't exactly have the ideal garage set up to wrap the car in there. I don't have a lot of room in there, so I gotta move stuff around every time I do the right side of the car. Every time I do the left side of the car, I gotta move stuff around. I'll bring some of the smaller pieces inside, like the side skirts, the over fender, stuff like that. I'll try to do weekly uploads of the whole process so that you guys can see the progress of the car just as it's going and hopefully teach some of you guys how to wrap stuff by yourself too. This is the first time I've ever done it, but it's actually super easy. I mean, you just gotta take the time it takes really. The body of the car is pretty thrashed up as you've seen. So I was gonna be spending a lot of time doing body work, but that's okay. You guys will be here for the process. But yeah, so I figured as I was learning myself, I'll show you guys how to do it and hopefully get some entertaining content out there for the 240 to start the channel off. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video, guys. I know this one wasn't super interesting just cause it's gonna be all that boring body work and uh, wrap preparation and stuff. Um, but I'm trying to make these videos informative and entertaining um, as I'm going through the process myself and learning how to wrap my car. In the next video will be continuing on the wrap prep. Um, hopefully get one whole side of the car done so you guys can kind of get a teaser of what it's going to look like. And uh, thanks for watching guys. I will see you in the next one.